In this video I'm going to compare the music quality of Little Big Adventure, the original game, to the good old games we release. A member of the Magic Ball Network Forum writes, The MIDI music sounds awful. It sounds as though it's not playing correctly, and when it does it just sounds ten times worse than it did when I was using LVA Win. A member of the Good Old Games Forum writes, I bought this game just the other day and immediately noticed the poor music quality. I am going to put these comments to the test. Are the differences of sound quality between the Good Old Games version and the original Little Big Adventure just imagined, or is there something to it? In order to find out the difference, I booted up my computer into Windows 7 the 32-bit version, and recorded footage of Little Big Adventure running LBA Win. LBA Win is a port of LBA to 16-bit Windows, which means it will make the game run on Windows systems from 2000 to 7, but only on 32-bit operating systems. It will not run on 64-bit systems. I will compare the sound in LBA Win to my installation of DOSBox on OpenSUSE 12.1 64-bit using the good old games version of LBA. First, let us look at the menu music. Here's LBA Win. And here's the good old games version running in DOSBox. Whoops, it sounds like a note got missing there. A member of the Good Old Games Forum by the name of Masadik Tiasma has posted a fixed version of the responsible LBA.dat file. You can download it in the description of this video. Replace the LBA.dat file in your Good Old Games LBA folder with the downloaded file and you will get the menu music to play like this. This track you hear in the main menu is of CD music quality. The original game had this music stored directly on its CD as an audio track that could be played with any standard CD player. Nine CD quality tracks are featured on the original disc. They are called Opening for LBA, The Quest, The Rebels, Desert, Temple of Bu, The Village, Hamalai, Funky Town and LBS Theme. They only play in selected areas of the game. For example, the village will only play in the Old Berg area of Principal Island, while LBA's theme will play on Port Beluga. These tracks are of the same quality in the original game and the good old game's version played in DOSBox. For example, compare this track that plays in Lupenberg. Here's the LBA Win version. Notice how it took the physical CD some time to load the correct track after entering the scene before the music started playing. And here's the good old games version running in DOSBox. Sounds exactly the same after we have applied the proper LBA.dat patch. Now let's compare some of the shorter tracks in the game. Here's the music when Twinson exits the Citadel prison. First the LBA win version.
And now the Coated Grapes version in DOSBox. Notice the poor quality of the good old games version in DOSBox. Here are a few more examples. This is the music that plays in the tavern in LBA Win. And in the DOSBox version. Seinen sich verlaufen zu haben. Benutzen Sie Ihr Holomat, falls Sie nicht zurückwissen. And finally, this is the intro music in LBA Win. And here's the intro in DOSBox. Now there is something that you have to understand here. Even though the LBA Win version of the intro music sounds much better than the DOSBox version, it is still not CD quality. Let's compare the opening music in LBA Win with the track Opening for LBA that you can play from the CD with a simple audio player. Here's LBA Win. And here's the CD. So the music played here by LBA Win is not CD quality, it is actually a MIDI file, like all short tracks in the game, as well as the music that plays in cutscenes. LBA comes with two archive files, MIDI underscore MI dot HQR and MIDI underscore SB dot HQR that contain XMI files. The archives can be opened with the program LBA Package Editor that can be downloaded from the Magic Ball Network forums. You can play the extracted XMI files with the DOS program XMI Play, through DOSBox, and there is also XMI support in Winamp. The XMI files were used in the original LBA game if you played it on DOS. LBA Win actually included another file called MIDI underscore MI underscore Win dot This file didn't contain XMIs, but rather plain MIDI files that can be played with Windows Media Player or Linux MIDI software synthesizers like Timidity Plus Plus. What it boils down to, there's not much difference between the original XMI files and the MIDI files that come with LBA Win. If you play them through XMI Play or Timidity, they sound like this. However, if you use the same MIDI files and play it using Windows Media Player on the Windows machine, they sound like this.
Now that's a big improvement, but how can the same file sound different on two different operating systems? The reason for this is the nature of MIDI files. Think of MIDI's as note sheets instead of a recording. If you feed a MIDI to your PC, it has to play according to the notes stored in the MIDI file, with its own instruments. The quality of the instruments is determined by your installed sound font. And sadly, the sound that comes pre-installed on most Linux systems is of way worse quality than the one found on a Windows installation. In fact, the worse MIDI music quality didn't have anything to do with the fact that I was using the good old games version instead of the regular CD version. The reason is that I'm using a non-Windows machine. So here's what you can do. If you still have a Windows installation and want to achieve the same sound quality, you can lift the sound font from Windows and make your Linux use it. To achieve this, go to your C colon backslash windows backslash driver cache backslash i386 backslash driver dot cap file and extract it using Windows Explorer or the Linux command line tool cap extract. You will find the sound font file 2gmgsmt.sf2 inside. Copy your file somewhere onto your Linux partition and set up timidity to use it. With super user privileges, edit the file slash etc slash timidity.cfg or slash etc slash timidity slash timidity.cfg and enter the line soundfont slash path slash tool slash file. Make sure that the timidity sound server is actually loaded during login. Check your desktop's auto start configuration and make sure that the command timidity minus lowercase i capital A is executed during startup. Now you will need to configure the game to use timidity. Edit your lba.cfg file in your lba folder. For MIDI driver pick A32MT32.dll. For MIDI exec choose no exec. For MIDI base choose 330H. For MIDI IQR and MIDI DMA choose nothing. For MIDI type choose MIDI. As for the wave settings in lba.cfg, you can use w-sb16.dll for wave driver. For wave exec, choose no exec. For wave base, choose 220h. For wave irq and wave dma, choose nothing. For wave rate, choose 22000. And finally, for mixer driver, choose m-sb16.dll. And for mixer base, choose 220h. Now you're ready to go. I have provided all instructions and the lba.dat file to fix the missing notes in the CD music in the description. Have fun and enjoy your LBA just like it was in the old days. Here's what the intro music sounds like now. Mm -hmm.